Today we're going to install Mach 4 Hobby um, from the mocksupport.com website. We go up to software and download and select Mach 4. Once we do that, it will take us to the uh, page which tells us about Mach 4 version 2, uh, which is a newer version of the software and it's the one that's ready to go. So we can then click the uh, download page button and it will take us to a page where we can download our demo copy of Mach 4 and the file at the top of the page shows the latest version of Mach 4 which is the one that we would want to use. Uh, if you wanted to install a parallel port um, to use with legacy computers then you could do so by clicking the file that's below it after you're done with this process. So once we've installed um, that, it downloaded it, the file, and we can double click it to execute it. And because it's an executable file, we want to just say OK because we do want to run that file. And that will begin the process of loading it onto your computer. You'll briefly see a flash screen, it goes very fast, and then it will take you right to uh, the place where you agree with the licensing terms of Mach 4. So you just click the checkbox and then hit the next button. Once you do that it shows you the standard uh, default directory for Mach 4. We're going to keep that and just click on install. It then extracts the files and uh, when it's done uh, it will not indicate that it is done. It will just bump you out and back to the mock support page. So again, if you wanted to use a legacy computer, you could download the uh, Mach 4 parallel port uh, drivers from this page. Uh, that is an additional cost if you're buying the version.